Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how the Select PDF plugin works. This plugin is really handy for converting your bubble pages to a PDF format for things like invoices and reports. Um, and I'm going to use this particular plugin because uh, it was published by Bubble and it's pretty straightforward in terms of uh, how it works. There are a number of other PDF conversion uh, plugins out there and if you run into any other ones, these are typically going to work the same way, so you can still follow the same process. So once you install the plugin, which I've done here, you'll need to enter a license key to use the Select PDF service. This is an external service, and most PDF conversions are going to require some kind of a paid plan. Select PDF, however, does uh, give you a one-week trial uh, with a demo key. So if you go over to selectpdf.com, and I'll actually link this in the description below, uh, you can request a demo key, you will have to provide your email address, but you don't have to pay for anything. And you'll get a week of use for that demo key, uh, which includes 200 conversions, which should be plenty for testing things out. So you'll grab that demo key, plug it into these uh, inputs here, and you'll be set up uh, with the plugin. Now the way that this typically works is you'll have two pages. The first page is going to trigger the conversion and the second page is going to be the actual bubble page that you're wanting to convert to a PDF. So this is my first page here. It's a very simple list of company clients with the company name. This is a repeating group here. Um, number of employees that are associated with that company and then my button. And this button is going to trigger the conversion. Uh, now the page that I'm going to convert is going to be another one on my in my app here called report and This page is going to receive that company data for whichever company I click the button for um, And it'll display dynamic information for that company So I'm just listing out the list of employees for the company I'm gonna set this up a little bit more in a second here, but basically what will happen is I click this button I tell select PDF hey, I'm sending this company data over to my report page, go load that page with that company data and then convert it to a PDF format, okay? So the first thing you need to do to get this setup working is that the page you're converting must have a type of content set. And since this is a company report page, I'm going to be sending company data over and now I can do, I'm gonna add another text here and this text will be the current page company's name. Uh, and then this repeating group of users will be the current page company's employees. This employee field is just a list of users under my company type. Okay, so again, you have to set the type of content on the page to whatever data type it is you're um, sending the record over here for, um, and then you can fill out your dynamic values that way. Now back on my company list page here, I'm going to set up the workflow for this button. So I'll start edit workflow when PDF is clicked there. And the action for the select PDF plugin is actually found under email here. Um, generate PDF from a web page is what we want. Usually uh, if you have, if you're working with other PDF conversion plugins, you'll find that here under the plugin section in that list. But Bubbles placed select PDF action under email. So I'll select that action and we have a handful of options to fill out here. So the first thing is to set up the file name. You can type something in uh, static like that, or you can insert dynamic data, uh, or a combination of both. So I'm going to call my file uh, by the company name, and then I'll do hyphen report like that. Okay, and then URL type will be an internal page uh, because I'm wanting to convert another one of my own bubble pages here, my report page. And then you'll have to select the actual page itself. So I'll select report and then the data to send. So remember our report page is set up to receive company data. So I'm gonna say the current sales company will be sent over there. And then you have some options for sizing and layout. I'll leave these as is, um, but you can change those if you need. And then you have a minimum load time. What's actually happening in the background is that when you trigger this action, Select PDF is going to load uh, the report page on its own servers and then snapshot it after a certain amount of time, whatever number of seconds that you insert here. And then it will convert that snapshot to a PDF. Okay. So if your uh, report page here, for example, has a lot uh, of searching and stuff required to display all the data, then you want to make sure you give this enough time uh, before select PDF snapshots it because otherwise you end up with a halfway processed page. Uh, this might take some trial and error to see what the optimal load time is but you definitely want to keep it as low as possible so that your user isn't waiting around for a long time. Um, and you do also want to optimize how you uh, 
display uh, your report data. Try to keep your searches and everything as efficient as possible um, on this page. This is a very, very simple setup, so this won't take long at all. All right, so I'm going to leave my minimum load time here to five seconds. Now, as a result of this action, you're going to get back the URL of the PDF. So you can access that URL by navigating to an uh, external website here. So we'll open an external website. The destination will be the result of step one, which is our generation trigger there. And then if I click on more, I can go to the URL. I also have access to the file name and I have some other conversion options there. But if I go directly to the URL, then that's what will happen for the user. As soon as they click the button, the conversion will happen, might take a few seconds, and then immediately we will open up that resulting PDF page. Okay. You can also save this URL so that you can access it later. Uh, for example, if I go over back to my company type here and I create a new field called PDF, uh, which is a file, and back to my workflow, um, I can insert an action here, make a change to the company, and then save this file to that PDF field here. So PDF will equal the result of step one, and now it will be stored in your database and you can come back and access this PDF whenever you want, in addition to seeing it immediately as soon as we create the click on the button. Okay, so let's preview this. I'm going to go over to my company client page. All right, so I'm going to create a PDF for this company here, World of Books. Now remember, my report page is set up to display the static text for company report, the company's name, and then this repeating group is the company's employees, which will just be the email addresses, right? So when I click on this button, I'm going to trigger that select PDF action, and it's going to send com that, this company's data to that page and convert it to PDF format. And as soon as that happens, when it's done, it will open up the PDF page for us. So we can see it working there. and now we're being redirected. Okay, and here is our PDF. So you can see that it rendered also with the um, bubble banner here because again, select PDF, it's as if select PDF goes to the web page itself. So however um, this page is going to preview in a live mode, that's what um, you're going to get for this conversion. And because I'm working in a free um, bubble app right now, I also have the banner because uh, I'm not on a custom domain. But everything came through properly. I have my static text. It produced the um, dynamic company data, so I have the company name, and then the list of users for that company. And as you can see, we are in a PDF format, and I'm looking at it um, in the Chrome browser, however it displays PDFs. And I can download it from here, I can print it from there, I can also do whatever you can um, usually do with uh, <laughs> PDF files here. And if you notice in the URL up here, the file name that I uh, set up in the action settings came through okay. It's the company name plus the word report. I do have space encoding here, so um, because there are spaces in this company name, I have percent %20 replacing those spaces. Um, just heads up, you know, if you want to remove those spaces so that you have a cleaner uh, URL name there. And that's pretty much it. Hopefully this provided a helpful step-by-step -step for working with not just select PDF, but any other PDF conversion uh, service. They usually work the same way where uh, you trigger the generation, you send, it, you send data to your uh, report page, your invoice page, whatever it is, uh, and that service will load up that page on its own end. You need to give it enough time. Um, and then as a result, you'll want a URL so that you can save that URL uh, and or go directly to it. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I upload videos every single week. Thanks so much for watching.